Hi everyone, I wasn't going to make a video about this, but frankly, although I have in the past been pretty abysmal at celebrating milestones because my mind races to what's next, I'm working on it and I did reach a milestone, albeit a while back. I usually introduce myself on the podcast by saying something along the lines of, my name is Nicholas Verhoeven, I'm a PhD student in molecular medicine. My name's Nicholas Verhoeven, I'm a PhD student in molecular medicine, and that's actually partially untrue now. Technically, I graduated to the next level of my doctorate. At my program, the first semester is a bit of a weed out semester where you're enrolled in one massive course that literally covers everything from genetics to molecular biology to metabolism to many, many areas taught by over 30 professors and researchers. I had to take multi-hour written exams every two weeks based on the three individual lectures given every day of the week. So a total of 15 lectures worth of material packed into two weeks and then a test and then repeat that over and over again. At the end, you had to pass or you were kicked out. Admittedly, while also running physionic, I worked 15 hours a day, seven days a week. So it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, uh, but I made it through. Now, the last two years, I've been enrolled in courses to further my education in all the aspects of medical research. Once I passed those, I had one more test as a student, the dreaded qualifying exam. The doctorate qualifying exam is a comprehensive exam of everything you've learned and tests if you are allowed to enter the final stage, like Vegeta training to be a Super Saiyan. <laughs> It has a portion that is written, but the big test is a multi-hour oral exam where you are put in front of five researchers and medical doctors, and they simply ask any question that they want related to the field. Just as I said, the first massive course was the most difficult. Now this eclipses it. It is by far the most anxiety and stress producing scenario I've ever been engaged with. Certainly beyond that of my master's defense and the first semester of core course, as it's called. If the researchers deem you unfit, they can fail you and you are at risk of being kicked out of the program yet again. Well, although my anxiety is real, I did prevail and here's where I can somewhat say that I've graduated to the next level. The final stage of my doctorate and likely the longest is this stage, candidacy. It means I'm finished with my formal classwork, although I am still taking a muscle biology course that uh, at the time of this recording. So I'm no longer considered a student in the classroom and now all my education is lab focused in an attempt to think of, plan, and run experiments for the larger aim of being published on my own study as the lead researcher. So that means I'll be changing my credentials at the beginning of every video to PhD candidate instead of student, although I certainly am still learning and will be a student in my field until my dying day. Yet considering getting my doctorate has been a goal of mine for many years, it does feel akin to Vegeta transcending the Saiyan to the super. That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? I'll need help coming up with an analogy for when I defend my dissertation and graduate my entire doctorate. Okay, well, there's the update, and thanks for always sticking with me. I always deeply, deeply appreciate it, and I try and uh, say that from time to time just as a reminder to myself and obviously to you, uh, the person who's been sticking with me for so long. Thank you so much. All right, catch you in the next one. See ya.